Hello, what's up guys? Here's another uh, update on my mini Thunderbolt Siren. I tried the um, new gear design and it still didn't work. Okay. Also, the rotator broke again. And this time it really was the belt's fault. But it wasn't this belt, it was another belt I had on that was pulling a little too hard on this thing. I don't know where it went. Here it is. It was this one. I was pulling too hard on it and eventually snapped it. So, once I get a new pulley in there, I'm going to put the old belt back on. The one that doesn't pull as hard. Hopefully I can get it to work then. I also have a new blower floor, which supports the um, roots blower. That's where the gear is supposed to go. That uh, didn't work, so, yeah. Also, the replacement gear for the rotator there, pulley, or the pulley or whatever. I was supposed to get printed with that gear, and for some reason didn't. So, yeah. Anyway, here's the blower floor. The air goes in here, and it comes out here. And the pipe is right there. It's this yeah, square part right here. And this big gap is the air inlet. That's what I'm putting my fingers through right now. The uh, blower mounts on those four holes. I'm out of screws, so I'll have to hit Lowe's to see if I can find some more screws. As long as you can try to find some more screws. Here's the old blower right here. Right, go ahead and put this back together. Do a quick glance up the lower pipe. So yeah, hopefully I can get this thing to work at some point. The old chopper tube. So we're going to just set the blower on top of here. And uh, again, here's if I want to connect a balloon to it. I don't have any balloons with me right now, but I can just put this right here and connect a balloon to it, and it'll deflate into this and, and supercharge it for a brief few seconds, kind of like I did one of my earlier Thunderbolt. In earlier, kind of like what I did in one of my earlier mini Thunderbolt videos. If I can't get that low blower to work, I'll stick with this old centrifugal blower. It does wind up a little slower, and wind down a little slower, but it does work, more or less. Oh, that's where the electric tape went. Oh, crap. Um, uh, right here is... Um, uh, the new gear I'm trying to get it to weld it's not really working right now because it's taking too long uh, yeah the collector rings I think might still be in good shape but I can't really test them right now because the rotator broke again so yeah if anything I might just try to super glue it back together in fact, that's what I'm going to do. Stand by. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, I just super glued it back together again. Let me get it a little closer to the light. Super glue hasn't dried yet, but it has set a little bit. So, can't really see where the glue is, but it's right by the first spiral. Used a um, Loctite super glue. See if this can fix the uh, rotator gear.
You can go in back in the uh, rotator gear box until it's dry. The old belt, I should say, it doesn't pull as hard as the belt that was originally on there, so hopefully it won't break the uh, pulley for the second time. This is the first time it, the pulley broke, it was me cleaning the collector rings, but the second time I was using a belt that was pulling too hard, and it snapped it right in two, so. You try using this one. <coughs> this one is one I was using before. It pulls a little bit harder than this one. The rotation inside the gearbox. It's probably worn it down a lot and caused it to become thin and break. And see a little bit of wear right there. See how it's like round right on the left there? Yeah, it's from the wear of this thing. The wear and tear. Let's go ahead and put this back together except for the gear that's still drying. The glue. Yeah, whatever. Alright, here I am back again a day later. The glue is presumably dry. Um, uh, rotator's still open. I forgot to close it last night, so the collector rings are probably dirty. So I'm going to go get an AC adapter. It's still repairing the gear, so it doesn't end up like that again. So, but if I can't get it to work, I'll just go back to the centrifugal blower, I guess. I don't really have any other option. Now let's go ahead and plug in the chopper and test those collectorings before I put the rotator back together again. Anyway, let's wind up the blower. Uh oh, that didn't sound good. A little bit of a scratch from it. Is it spinning the right way? Uh, yes, it is. put that rotator back together. Like I said before, I think the glue is dry. Let's go ahead and move the head a little out of the way. And go ahead and put this thing back together again. And uh, see if this will be an uh, epic win or an epic fail. Wait, before I put this together, put in the comments what you think it's going to be. An epic win or an epic fail before you watch this. Okay, you commented? Okay, good. Let's put this back together again. And if you get it right, well, congratulations, you got it right. Now, let's see how tight this glue will lock. Moving. Oh, crap. Who hates it when that happens? When you're trying to put together your mini thunder, oh, you don't have a mini thunderbolt. <laughs> Unless you're like Venom Monday Two or or some other guy that actually has a mini thunderbolt, then you probably have this problem where the screwdriver keeps falling over when you're trying to put a screw in. Three, two, one. All right, that's a good start. Now let's connect the rotator power. It works so far. All right, now for some good measures, I'm going to drop some three and one in there. And it goes yellow again. Hashtag yellow glitch. 
Hashtag the glitch is a B word. We're almost out of this oil. So. All right, now let's just kind of let it soak in there. This will hopefully keep it from you know wearing out. So we're functional again. All right. Go ahead and uh, put the thing back on here. Wind up the blower and chopper, and give it a rotation test. I forgot to put the screws back in the rotator. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put the screws back in the rotator. This will also get you a chance to see what the back inside looks like. Because I need to open up the back to get the other screw in. Alright. And now there's your chance to see the back side and through to the front side. There's a 12 volt motor, under power to 3 volts DC. Collector rings. Now let's go ahead and put in that screw that goes in that little tiny hole there. This one. I broke it! Uh, no! Uh. Maybe I can still get that screw all the way in. Or maybe I need to put some super glue on that. It looks like it might still work though. I mean, it's not permanently damaged, I don't think. I mean, we do have the Loctite, which has proven itself to be pretty good with the rotator gear pulley that snapped in half and I was able to fix it. I don't really feel like taking the rotator gearbox apart again. So I'm just going to deal with whatever happens. And if the rotator gearbox starts acting up, I'll glue that piece back together again. I don't feel like you really need to see me putting it back together, so I'm through the magic of editing, it's already back together again. Mini Thunderbolt is back together again. But I did forget to plug in the chopper. Ooh, that uh, growl didn't sound too good. But it seems to work okay. Okay, let's give this thing another test. Still repairing to hmm. We're gonna switch the inner camera so the microphone's facing the thunderbolt.
This is Broken Solar Panel signing off.